welcome back another day, another vlog. I hope you're all well wherever you are in this fine world of ours. Uh, had a, another great day, day eight here on the road, uh, going really well. A uh, bit of a relaxed day today. Um, we did a couple of, I guess, touristy things. Um, probably top of the was a, I guess, just for tourist wise, Mount Barker, if you're traveling down the South Mount Barker, the bakery there. Oh. OMG, uh, chockers, wicked, I think I had a bacon and cheese pie, it was delish, and a blueberry cheesecake, uh, vanilla slices were amazing, uh, sausage rolls are awesome, uh, monster bakery, yeah, you, you're gonna put on at least a kilo when you walk out of there, so uh, good little tip, so definitely one worth checking out, so Mount Barker Bakery, chuck that on your travel guide coming through down to the south, it's only about 50 k's out of Denmark, so we decided to shoot up. We're going to have lunch up there. Uh, before that, in the morning, we shot out to the honey factory, which was, yeah, not too bad. They had some bees and stuff, uh, not amazing. So I think Jack was still asleep, so we left him. I waited in the bus. Didn't really spend too much time there. Um, it was okay, something into honey, I guess, um, something different. There's a mead, and they do all that we were pretty early in the morning so we'd sort of just having a bit of a gander uh stopped into lever little lever factory um elsie's i think it is uh do their own lever hats jackets ugg boots and stuff like that all made on the property so that was pretty cool um not too bad pretty cool you can see the guys sewing the boots together so that was pretty good the late i mean the ladies um they were in there sewing boots together and you can watch them and see what they do. So that was pretty cool in that aspect. So something different there. And then shot down to the Toffee Toffee Factory, or it's a, it's called, I think it's called the Toffee Factory, but they've got uh, a little soccer golf thing for the kids. Um, there's cubby houses, there's ice creams, there's all sorts of different sauces and jams you can buy there. They've got uh, their own brand cider, which looked pretty nice. Um, I didn't have any drive in the truck, so couldn't taste that uh, that early in the morning, uh, but that looked pretty cool. And then after that, we shot out to Mount Bike for lunch. A little bit of a little bit of a journey out, I guess, out of the way. But we've seen most of the things around Denmark that we sort of want to see. We've done the swimming. It was ra rain this morning, so we weren't going to go out swimming today. Um, we just wanted a bit of a casual, just check it, check out anything else we hadn't seen in the area. Tomorrow we move to Albany, so tonight we're shooting down to the Ocean Beach. Uh, gonna get fish and chips, shoot down there and sit on the rocks and just watch the sunset go down to end it. this part of the trip in Denmark. Has been amazing. Uh, some really friendly people here in Denmark. Um, food's been great. A little bit exy, I guess. Um, but yeah, travel on the road, it's a small town. They, they don't, they survive on tourism. Um, it's all fresh cooked. We haven't had a bad meal. It's been all really, really good. So that that aspect, you're happy to. You don't mind paying like decent money when you're getting fresh cooked food. Uh, definitely don't get anywhere near that sort of quality of freshness and good customer service, I guess, as you do uh, in some of the big cities. You sort of left. You get what you're given there. So that's been really cool. Gorgeous part of the country. Love Denmark. If you come down south, definitely come here. Uh, I guess the main ones, you, you can't say it, uh, Elephant Rocks, Greenspool, insane. Absolutely insane. So that was pretty cool. And then I did a bit of a pre-research. We're coming back from our bark. We still had plenty of time. Um, obviously, it's around about five o'clock now. So I thought we'd shoot down to Albany, do a, a pre-search. We've only got a couple, three days there. One of them, I've got to go out to Bluff Knoll and do my big hike which is a big one for me. I really want to do it, um, get up the top of that. So that's an all day adventure. I'm going to steal the, steal the van and leave the family back at the uh, camp at, or in Albany. And I'm going to just shoot out for the day and go up hiking up there. So it's starting to, you see behind, it's starting to clear up. So that's good news. So either tomorrow, probably not tomorrow, I'd say the next day I'm going to do the hike. Um, I've got to sort of suss it out because I looked, I went out to the Gap this afternoon or just after lunch the gap and the natural bridge which was fantastic what an amazing setup uh, there's a lighthouse there there's a beautiful beach around the corner just yeah spot the dog awesome uh, place so another place we're gonna try 
um, to get out and shoot at. And I want to try and do some astro. The moon's going to be full. So I'm even going to do astro, sunrise, moon shots, trying a bit of a... I'm going to take everything I've got <laughs> in the bag that night when I do it. It's probably, so it'll be another two in the morning, Jobby, shoot out there, park, just go nuts and see what I can find. I did get the drone, got away from all the people uh, onto a private little beach off the side, um, shot the drone up and took it around the lighthouse and did that and got shots of the of the uh, gap and everything away from people. So it was pretty cool and footage was awesome. Uh, the water was so blue, even bluer than here. I wouldn't have thought it could be, like the water was crystal clear, I guess because the beach you, you're in there with the sand, but like we went down to like just the rocks where you could go fish uh, near the gap and just that real like dark blue, like but that deep ocean blue like right there. It reminded me of when I did the Great Australian Bite, uh, when I drove across from Adelaide when I moved to Perth. I drove off with a good mate Dicko, he came with me in the ute and we drove across, I was moving to Perth and we stopped in there and had a quick, probably only there half an hour unfortunately like silliest thing ever, should have sat there and spent some real good time. Just what we just wanted to get through. It's a mi massive, massive drive um, in the middle of absolute nowhere. You couldn't get any further away from humans if you tried. But uh, that was pretty cool. And um, yes, yeah, so that was cool. So now the big news we've got tech wise today is obviously the Sony A1. Holy crap. Uh, if this thing lives up to its name. <laughs> Wow, uh, it's it's basically Sony has gone. What they've read the fo vlog files, they've watched YouTube for the last two years and gone. What's everyone whinging about? What does everyone want? And let's shove it all in one camera. Uh, you've got 15 stops of dynamic names, uh, a stacked BSI sensor, uh, as well as that 50 megapixels, 30 frames a second electronic. 10 frames, uh, that's with the, that's not full raw. Uh, compressed raw, it's think, uncompressed raw is about 20 frames. Uh, compressed, it'll come down to, it'll go to 30. Um, and then with the mechanical, if you just run the mechanical shutter, it'll be 10 frames a second. But really, uh, I don't think you're gonna worry about it. This thing is insane. Zero blackout when you're shooting uh, at those high speeds, that's insane. So you're gonna see the whole picture as you're shooting. Awesome. Full autofocus tracking, eye autofocus tracking for video, stills, everything. That's all been improved even more than what it was. They were already the best. Uh, and now it's going to be just insane. So that's just, it's just going to be mind boggling. Now, the viewfinders, uh, 9.4 million dot EVF, 240 frames a second refresh. So you're going to see every detail when you're looking at it. Uh, you're gonna be able to get everything in focus too. So that's pretty cool. Very cool. Flash syncs up to one four hundredth of a second. So that's gonna look after those people using flashes and, and doing photo shoots uh, with that 50 megapixel. Uh, silent flicker free shutter, awesome. 92% autofocus coverage. So pretty much the whole screen you can touch to get full focus on. That's pretty cool. It, uh, you'd notice a lot once you come down the barrier, uh, the levels of the camera, um, getting the, that autofocus where you want it to be able to come and touch this part of the screen or over here and get that one thing in focus and sort of get the rest, get that definition out. Uh, it's a little bit trickier. You gotta sort of move the camera a bit with this. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, other than that, it's just, it's just crazy. Uh, hum, AF, real time, uh, humans, animals, and movies, all that's gonna be good. 4K, 120 frames a second. Uh, with autofocus tracking. So full tracking, eye focus, everything at 120 frames. Wow. Don't know about sound. They didn't say anything about if you got sound at that 120 frames. That'd be pretty interesting if you could uh, pull that off. But uh, look, that's just ridiculous. It's got that MI shoe. So if you use that Sony, uh, I think, I can't remember the last, I think you might've come out with A7S III or even the smaller cameras, you can put that Sony in the hot shoe mount, the, the microphone, that universal microphone, so you've got no cables or coming through it. So if you've got that system, you can use that with the A9 or the A1, not the A9, I keep saying A9, it's A1. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
16-bit RAW via HDMI, and it's got a full-size HDMI. It's got Ethernet cable direct to it. Insane. It's got USB-C 3.2. Insane. So full data stream straight to it. You can connect uh, direct straight FTTP, FTP continuously, uh, connect wirelessly directly to your phone, all cable straight to your phone, run it through your phone, store it to your phone. Options are just ridiculous. I've said it a few million times, I think, in the last year about being able to go through, just go straight to SSD. Looks like we can do that straight with that. You can sort straight to your Samsung T5s, T7s, your WDs, all your good SSD cards that are out there, your OWCs. Um, there's so many good SSD storage options. Crazy to worry about the cards so you can use your cards as backup. Speaking of cards, you've got Type A CFS Express. Not the big B ones, but it's A. But as well as that, you can also use your SD Series 2 ones. So options endless for storage. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, you've definitely got to give it to them. Um, it's got mag alloy frame and they've increased the weather restrictions. Of, it's, so fully mag thing. So basically like the... Uh, excited about talking about this just the specs and it just blows you away like a kid in a candy store um it's got a mag alloy frame similar to there's a car always when you're talking um similar to the oh, 1dx camera so the full pro body it's got that solid rigid it's going to be rock solid it's going to be that they've increased the weather ceiling so it's going to be they were pretty round um Few of the boys that I do follow, uh, they run the Sony's A7R4s and they put them like they're rain in on them and they're still using them. So these things are gonna be pretty much bulletproof. So that's awesome to see as well. That's a big part. It's already got a vertical option available. They've announced that with it. So you've got the extra batteries, you've got that extra big grip if you wanna shoot vertical. So that's awesome. Uh, it's got seven customizable keys. So you can customize 17 different keys to suit whatever you want and 174 different adjustments in those with all different keys and functions so fully adjust the whole camera to suit your setup which is insane that is customer focus uh pretty pretty cool um what else have we got there carbon fiber shutter mechanism good to 200,000 uh, shots or something before it needs to be replaced so pretty much cool uh look when it comes out, I guess we're going to see what it's like when it comes out and test it. It's great to come out and go, blah, like this. We did this with the R5 and it had issues with heating. They've got expanded heating in there. They've listened about that. They've got flow diagrams and stuff in there to show you about that. Look, I think they've probably held off a little bit longer on this to make sure they got all that right, seeing what happened to the R5. It's probably been ready for a little bit, I reckon. Um, but uh, look, this thing, if it is half as good as what those specs are, this thing is going to be amazing. What a camera. If you're in the Sony system, good luck to you. I don't know what it's going to cost. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be up there 1DX Mark III territory. So you'd have to be saying Australia, $10,000 at least. Um, look, I think if you're a pro pro shooter and you're shooting Sony, 10 grand, this thing's going to be worth it. But what that can give you, oh, AK30 as well. So yeah, just, just throw an AK as well video. So it didn't have recording times for that but it did, did say that it's got expanded cooling so it can run longer. So even if you get 15, 15 minutes solid 8K, that's gonna be pretty good as long as you can come back and then give it like a five minute rest and come back and do it again, that's gonna be pretty cool. So if we got something along those lines, I think they should have no dramas on the video side. Overall, what can you say? Uh, that's just ridiculous, out of control. Um, you can pretty much run, a, so the whole show is dedicated to that. What do you think? Um, 10 grand. I met a gentleman today down at the rocks. He just bought an R5. He'd come from the 5D Mark IV, got the R5, loves it. He's telling me about the autofocus so he can track, I autofocus track. I'm just going, yeah, man, I've just got an RP. <laughs> now you're making me jealous. Uh, so that was pretty cool. We had a bit of a chat. He's traveling in Australia, just bought a motorhome. He's gonna travel and uh, shoot all around Australia. So that was pretty cool. It's great to bump into people that have got the same passion about photography as I do. We had a good probably 10 minute chat um, about things, photography and drones and all that. He just got a Mavic Air 2, was telling me how good the Mini 2 is. And 
the mini two again today i've got a big shout out to dji again if you get the, if you want to get into them and you want something easy and safe and good get the mini two 4k insane the footage is awesome that i've looked at i uh, haven't even started editing yet but i've got so much to do uh, i'm glad i'm going to work for five weeks and i'm going to have to do it all there it's going to take me five weeks to catch up um, but yeah strong winds today at least 20 k's an hour and one i think again yet a one wind warning i could drop down 10 meters from 120 down to about i think about 110 115 and that was it never heard from again went around the coastline right on the, and it was like gushing like blowing a gay uh, benny gale so awesome performed faultlessly yet again love it just an amazing amazing uh, beast it is so very happy with the mini too uh, cannot give it enough kudos uh, if you are looking for one and you want to get an entry and you're concerned about spending 1500 two grand don't <laughs> get the mini too because i guarantee you unless you're a pro this will be all you need and you can basically control it in one pocket drone in the other pocket and you're good to go seriously good to go cannot uh, cannot shout it out enough and on that car That'll be it for today. Radio, I had to get ready for dinner, fish and chips on the rocks. Last night in Denmark, thank you Denmark for having us. Uh, we've had an awesome trip here. Uh, lovely stay at the B&B, Windrose B&B. If you come into Denmark, it's a great little spot. Lovely uh, owners, perfect breakfast, uh, fresh made bread, awesome. Had a ball while we've been here, it's been really good. If you're electric vehicle, they got power too to plug in. So that's a hot little tip for you EV owners. You know I'm a big fan of electric vehicles, and uh, this gentleman here with a Hyundai Iconic, um, he's uh, had a chat to him this morning at breakfast, and 250Ks, he's loving it. He reckons it's really, really good, so very, very cool. Great to see him starting to filter in, and only 50, 50 odd, 55 grand, I think, for a fully electric car. Very nice. Rightio, I will see you all again tomorrow. Stay safe, and we'll see you all in Albany. My birthday tomorrow, so you better all hit subscribe and like for tomorrow. That's important. It's my birthday. 46. <laughs> I'll right, we'll see you tomorrow. If you're coming this way, that way, I'll catch you in Albany. Peace.